We went problem 1240 from chapter 12, Kinematics of a Particle. It's one of the longer chapters of the book, but it's uh, crucial that you guys understand all this since you're going to be taking tidbits of uh, all this information into chapters 13, 14, and so on. So we're doing, uh, well, we're dealing with uh, absolute motion in two part, uh, of two particles, right? And we said before, we want to make sure we know how many strings or ropes are involved because that's going to you know, tell us how many equations we're going to use. And in this case, the summation of all these parts of a string will equal L, a constant, right? So first we want to establish the datum, right, which is going to be right here. So let's say this is x, this is positive y, okay? Positive x is in the, you know, to the right, positive y is going up. And we're going to, we want to determine the velocity of block A, okay, um, of the rope, um, if and B of the rope is pulled down with a speed of 6 meters per second. So we're pulling this down, so this should mean like, okay, B goes down this way, right? So what happens to this part and this part? Well, these two, these two parts of the rope are fixed. Okay, they're fixed in length, so nothing's going to happen to them. Okay, so wh which which pieces of string are going to be affected by um, by that change? And we'll let me just change colors real quick. So the only strings that are going to change in length are going to be this part of the string and this part of the string, and of course this one. Okay, so. Um, when we, when we sum up all these parts of string, we're going to uh, equal, set it equal to L, okay? So we're going to say, let's delete this part. So we're going to say LB, right? LB plus some other chunks of string. Let's call this C1. Let's call this C1 as well since they're equal. And then this is going to be... LA and again LA over here. So we're going to have LB plus 2 LA plus 2 C1s. Two constants, right? So this is just to show you that these are not going to matter. So when we take one derivative, one time derivative, we're going to get VB plus 2 VA. The derivative of a constant is 0. All right, so this goes away, equals L. The, the total length of the string is constant. So again, we're going to, derivative of uh, constant is zero, right? So we're going to get this equation over here. So now we have VB is uh, six and it's going down. So we're going to say that this is minus six plus two VA equals zero. So this is 2VA equals 6, and then we get our final answer, which is the box, box A is moving, is moving up with a speed of 3 meters per second. Okay. And these problems are going to come in handy when we tackle the chapter 13 problems. All right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't think it too hard. Just try to find which parts of the string are fixed. You know, we... When you take a derivative, um, do, do they move, do they change over time? If the answer is no, then you know that you don't need to use that part of the string. Okay, and that's kind of why the book tells us that uh, we don't need to use, you know, the this little part of the string, the part that's actually wrapping around the pulleys, okay? Because no matter at what time, that bit of string is always going to remain the same length, okay? All right, so goes this thing, this, all right, and that's it. Uh, so again, don't overthink it, trust yourself. Um, uh, the hardest part is always setting up the problem correctly. And then from there, just know that you got to trust the physics and go from there. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, concerns, drop them down below, and I'll be happy to reply. Thanks, guys.